What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. I did not mean to take a two week break. It just kind of happened. <laughs> just a lot going on and yeah, I mean, I won't go into any more detail. Let's not worry about all that, but it has been two weeks and hopefully I can get my stuff together and be a little bit more consistent. This used to never be a problem for me, but I've just been spending so much time filming my TikToks and enjoying that. But uh, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> I'm sorry that all my videos lately have been unboxings. I'm gonna do some different content. I am going to do another vlog. I started it and stopped it so many times. But anyway, we're back. That's good. Also, something really stupid. I'm having one of those days where my brain just doesn't seem to be hitting on all cylinders, but I actually used all the products in my bag. My intention was to turn on my camera before starting my TikTok and insert clips into this video of me doing my makeup and I just completely blanked on it and I didn't turn my camera on. So this is just gonna be an unboxing, but I did do a very brief try on for TikTok, which I will have probably already posted. So if you'd like to check that out, it's there for you. And I will be able to give you my insights and kind of like a mini review on every product. So as far as that goes, we're good to go. So this month's theme is keep growing. The bags are adorable. It is like little daisies. It's really, really cute. And I don't know if you can see, but the blue is kind of like a grid pattern. I think that's really adorable. Very, very springy. Feels very seasonally appropriate. I was doing seasonally appropriate until I started using the products. And then I came out with this look that is totally not springy. I mean, I guess maybe this you could wear anytime. But I was intending to do something much lighter and different. But this is where we landed. Regular bag is also daisies and... The little pool is a daisy too and it's so cute. So we're gonna go ahead and just start opening up our regular Ipsy Glam Bag. Right on top, I got the Whey Body Cream and this smells really, really good. I know that a lot of people love Whey scents. Mm, it is, I'm gonna say this, I like the scent, but I do feel like it's a little bit more mature. But this I think smells very good. It's just like, I don't know how to, I don't know how to describe it, but it feels more of a classic type of fragrance, but it feels really nice. I did put some of this on. It feels great. I'm not having any irritation, which recently I have had some issues with something in my home. I think laundry detergent and I took away all scented products just to make sure. And then I'm, I'm right now reintroducing them, um, but I've never tried this. So I gave it a try. I just put it a little bit here and it's been great. It feels great on my skin. And like I said, it smells good despite it being a more classic mature scent. I also got this, which I think I tried this in little like tubes. I don't know if it's the same mask, but like little individual packets. I've used several of them. This is from Foxy Bay. This is the Insta Bay three minute hair mask. I wanna say this is what I have tried. I've had a few things from this brand and I feel like they're pretty nice. The hair mask definitely like, con you know, conditioned my hair well. It felt soft and hydrated afterwards. So I'll definitely just kind of put this to the side and use it. Not mad at that. I also got the Water Beauty Unlashed Mascara. This is actually a mascara that I've had. I really enjoyed and I went completely through it and had to get rid of it. But this is for Volume and Curl. And it's just a really good mascara. I like this one because it has like a semi-curved bristle, but it's not like, you know, really too curved, which doesn't really fit my my lashes personally, but it's got a little curve, traditional bristles, and it doesn't like immediately put like a ton of mascara on. That's one thing that I don't like about new mascaras and just some mascara formulas in general is they're like really like cakey, clumpy immediately or they're, you know, very wet and emollient and they just put a lot on. This is not like that. This is like a mascara that you love after you've used it just a few times and you know, it's not quite as liquidy that makes sense but i really like this mascara that's definitely a good one so i'm happy to have it in back in my life even though it's just a little bitty guy still a good thing to get i also got glow recipe watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops this i also have used i have i have a bottle right here so i didn't open this one um i am doing right now too while i'm thinking about it i'm gonna be doing a giveaway 
I think I'm posting it also today, the same day that you're watching this. Um, I'll post a video on TikTok, but the giveaway is actually going to be on Instagram um, to celebrate reaching over 15,000 on TikTok, which I thought was a great little milestone. And I'm showing what the products are, but um, I'm only telling you here in this video, I'm going to put some extras in there too, smaller things. And in the TikTok and Instagram, I'm just showing like the major things that I'm putting in there. But I have a really pretty Starbucks cup that you can't get in anywhere else. Um, I have some eyeliners. I have a couple skincare products, three skincare products, uh, one of my favorite pressed glitters, a lip gloss, and then I'm going to gather up some like really good minis that I have that I know that I love. That way I know it's not a lot, but it gives some, whoever gets it the chance to try a lot of things. So hopefully someone who's been wanting to try this can try it. Uh, I just can't seem to stop. When I do a giveaway, I generally put extra stuff in it like throughout and I haven't done one in so long. So I'm really excited. So I love the dew drops. Um, a really cool thing to get, especially for people who wanna try it and haven't been able to yet because it's such a beautiful product. This is really nice under makeup. It just gives like that glow and it gives uh, this little like, I don't wanna say slip because that's not right, but it just gives this like cushiony, moisturized base to put your foundation on that's so beautiful. And of course you can use it just as a regular serum if you like. And then we have one more product. I am wearing this. I do have a gloss over top of it, but this is a lipstick from Carmella Cosmetics. So funny enough, I did not use the palette that I got last month from Carmella Cosmetics because it was a neutral palette and I just I don't know. Somebody on TikTok said you should use it and I almost did and then I decided to give it to somebody. So I didn't use it and after using this lipstick I'm kind of glad that I didn't. Um, not to say that it was bad by any means because once again I did not use it so I cannot say quality wise. I'm sure if you got it you know what it was like but I'm not crazy about this lipstick. The color is very nice. I like the color and with a gloss over top it feels very very comfortable but this is a very matte bullet lipstick like to the point where it didn't really feel comfortable putting it on. Was it that big of a deal? Not really. I could totally continue to use this. It's not terrible by any means. It's a little bit um it's kind of like a, a light peachy peachy pink brown if that makes sense that is not like my favorite but I still I still think it's a really pretty color the gloss that I put on which you'll see helped a little bit too but it just didn't feel nice going on and I know it's matte but there's a lot of matte lipstick formulas in this style of lipstick that glide on um, very smoothly and then go a little bit drier and a little bit more matte and that's just what I prefer so I don't know. Um, I'm not saying that like I don't like this brand. I only have one real experience with it. But you know, it's just, it's that first impression. Like the palette didn't really give me an impression because I didn't try it. And this was just like, it's kind of the first impression. The lipstick being a little bit dryish. But I do think the color is beautiful. And if you like matte lipsticks, then you'll probably like it. I just tend to go for more like creamy formulas, you know, nothing nothing too matte for me usually. So we got our dew drops, lipstick, mascara, hair mask, and body cream. That is a nice assortment. We got two makeup, a skincare, a hair care, and a body care. <laughs> That's a really good assortment. If you like variation, that is for you. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got in our glam bag. Plus, I'm still so mad that I didn't actually record myself putting things on. Uh, yeah, I have a lot of good stuff in here though. So I use this, of course, I'm going to, I don't know why I'm trying to say that every time. So I use this butter, this, every time I get something from this brand, I'm like butter, I get excited. So this is a tea tree and aloe mask scrub. So this is kind of like a three in one, um, mask cleanser and exfoliator. I put this on, it smells, it smells very like herbally, you know, with the tea tree in it. And it says that it's a multitasking three-in-one facial cleanser. It starts as a treatment mask with kaolin clay to detoxify, absorb oil, and smooth skin. Transforms into a gentle foam cleanser infused with tea tree oil to remove dirt, impurities, and mattify. It has natural eco beads, deep clean, exfoliate, and polish the skin. 
and then it has aloe to hydrate soothe and nourish skin so i do i did enjoy this i will say i thought that the exfoliating part of this would be a little bit more gentle like as i was rinsing it was still there you know some of the more eco-friendly exfoliators kind of like almost dissolve kind of quickly but this one kind of stayed with you so i feel like it's a really nice level of scrub it wasn't too abrasive but it wasn't too gentle because i've had some like that melts too fast almost like you don't really get in there so yeah i liked it my skin felt clean very refreshed but not tight after using this so i think it's good i was not aware that misho beauty had makeup unless I'm just forgetting. <laughs> but this brand, I have their nail polishes and I think they're really pretty. I like them a lot. So when I saw this brand, I was like, wait a minute. And then I remembered the nail polishes. So we got a little face palette and this is a blush palette. So we have some really pretty colors. This is definitely giving my like a little bit of an orgasm vibe. Something like a violet. This one's a little bit more pink mauve and then something a little bit more neutral pink. But it has a really nice variation. I mixed these two right here and it came out like this really pretty soft pink. I just wanted a little bit of this shade, but against my bronzer too, it kind of just looks a little bit more neutral pink, but it's really pretty. I mostly use this shade, which I don't know if this is Iyama, is that, if that's what it's called, but yeah, as you can see, it's just really like this softer rosy pink. I thought it was a little bit more mauve before I put it on, but I like the formula of these so far. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. I like trying something new and having it work out immediately. That's always nice. I got a brush set from Farah, and these are so cute and so perfectly on theme. The handles have daisies on them very very cute i got so much hate a few years ago because i said that a fairer brush was cheap and it was <laughs> i was not lying it was a really cheaply made brush these however feel very nice i mean they feel like they have some weight to them the ferrule is very very sturdy they look quite pretty and most importantly the bristles feel great i use these two so i use this one for blush and then i use this one to just throw like a little bit of a bronzy shade into the crease and they worked really well then you have this brush which is going to be more like foundation cream it's pretty dense and then this you could use for concealer you could use with cream products you could do a lot with that but i'm very happy with this brush set this feels like way better quality than brushes that I've gotten from this brand in the past and I'm really happy that they're nice because they're so cute. I also got very happy with this the House Labs uh, La Riot lip gloss and this is the shade Blaze. This is the third one of these I've gotten and this is finally a color that I really really love. I have it over top of the lipstick. The other two colors are pretty but this is just like very much up my alley it's just like this rosy gloss it's so pretty and then the last thing i also i hate to i hate to be the negative nancy which by the way is my mom's name um but i didn't really like this liner either um so i got this hip it says a hip dot but i haven't seen this logo on their stuff and maybe that's new i'm not sure my back is hurting so i'm like but i I didn't have a very good time with this. The liquid part of the liner, it's just not very black. So I, I used it on my eyes initially and I was like, okay, let me, let me shake it up. Maybe we just need a little bit more product in the brush. It did not help. And I really don't like when, partially just the felt tip. I'm not a big felt tip person, but you can see there's almost like a streak in the middle of this swatch where it didn't lay down the product. What does come out when it comes out enough is not black enough. It's just not opaque. Like from a distance, sure, looks black. But if I compared it with some really good black liquid liners, I mean, it would be night and day. And then the other side is a Kohl pencil. I've never been a fan of Kohl pencils personally. For this style of look, it works out well because I did smudge it. I did a wing with it just to like try it and see how it did. Wasn't a fan of that. So I used the coal and I wound up kind of taking off the wing because it didn't really agree. Not that they're supposed to. Um, so the coal is pretty. Don't get me wrong. It's just not often that I do something like this. Personally, I'd rather use a more long wearing 
I sounded really Southern then. I'd rather wear a more long wearing pencil than a cold pencil and then still smudge it. Cause you can still smudge like Urban Decay for instance. I can put it on, smudge it out really quick before it dries and it's set. Cold pencils in my opinion are just not for me. They're just too uh, prone to um, movement. They're very creamy though. Like if this is something that you wanted to do all the time, this kind of a smoky black, then this would be great for that purpose. But I don't know. I love hip dot products too. So I don't like, I don't like saying anything negative. Um, cause I really do. I think their palettes are nice. I've had good products from them, but this is just not it. So I had to look at it like three times. So I was like, is this really hip dot? But it just feels phoned in. I don't, I don't see anything really great about this, but we got the liner. Very happy with our scrub. Very happy with the lip gloss. Also very, very happy with the brushes and really excited to continue using the blush palette. So four out of five ain't bad. I'm pretty excited for everything that I got. I don't mind having one that's a miss to me. That feels perfectly normal. I'm sure there, there are some people who get these boxes and um, don't want to be 100% like brutally honest about it because, you know, either fear of like, maybe they won't send it to me anymore or people's negative reaction. Cause I haven't gotten negative reaction for being too positive about so many products. I've gotten negative reactions about telling the truth about products when it's not necessarily positive. But to me, I should just always be honest about it. Not liking everything is so not a big deal. I can't imagine anybody getting 10 products and loving every single one of them. I, I don't know, like you, I don't know. Maybe I just have a very picky, discerning taste, but I'm always gonna find something <laughs> that I'm not perfectly happy with because I'm picky. I have high standards and I really enjoy the majority, the large majority of what I get. So I hopefully you guys appreciate the honesty and the feedback. Um, but yeah, those are just my thoughts. Some definite like would buy products in here. And then there's a few that, you know, I could take it or leave it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Don't forget you can check out my TikTok and Instagram for the giveaway. More information on the Instagram side of it. So anyway, thank you so, so much for being with me. And of course, if you're not already following me, go follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. And that is it. I hope you guys have an amazing night and I will see you next time. Bye guys.